It's all y'all. You've come to the Vinnie Van channel. I'm that Vinnie Van guy. so much for bearing with me. It's been a couple weeks since I posted anything but shorts. And now, I just did not feel ready with the vlogging that I've done. I've captured a few things. Um, I thought I had about three videos worth of material. I sat down to edit and I just was not happy with the content. I was not happy with the, the sound, the picture. I have a lot of stuff to share, and we will put together several videos from what I have. Although, I want to break out this camera and see how good this one was. So far, it looks like it's focusing in. Looks good. I left Marble Falls, Texas, and I have made it to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. One of my favorite places ever of all time. I'm so happy with the fact that I'm back here. I'm walking and driving through Coeur d'Alene. Been dreaming of moving here for so many years. And now that I'm here, I remember the beauty and the feeling that I had and the dream of moving here. Just all those vibes come back to me. But when I left Texas, I said, I'm not moving anywhere. This is not about moving, but this is about finding the place that I feel good, the place that I fit in, you know? Because home, as Casey Neistat said in his new video, it's not a house. Home is where you feel like you fit, like you belong. And so here I am in Coeur d'Alene, I'm gonna head to Boise next. We're gonna really find out if Boise is where I'm gonna home base. If Coeur d'Alene is where I'm gonna home base. We will soon find out. There's a lot to discover. I feel like I had a lot of questions about van life when I left Texas. I feel like there was a lot of doubt. There was a lot of just heaviness and loneliness, especially when I visited my hometown, Salinas. I drove through there and reminisced and visited a place that I hadn't been in 30 years. And I was a kid when I lived there, very young child. And I have a lot of memories and a lot of bad ones and a lot of thinking back in those days that I wanted to leave and I was ready to go. And when I got the chance, I was gone quicker than you can blink. I left Salinas pretty quickly when I got there. I headed to Monterey, which is right down the road, but it's a whole nother vibe. Oceans, beautiful uh, landscapes and things like that. And I'll tell you, it felt really good at Monterey, but there's certain things that have to happen to, for me to click with an area. And those things are, does it feel like I fit here? Is this where I belong? And can I work if I need to work? Is it legal for me to be a barber in that area? Well, I loved Oregon. I loved Bend. And I felt like, man, that could be a central place where I can go everywhere I want to go. And I looked into the barber license there and they require a lot of testing, even for experienced barbers coming from out of state. And I was just not ready for that. I am not ready for that. I don't wanna be having to do something more to educate myself in a field that I've spent a lot of money and time and passion educating myself already. So whatever I end up doing, wherever I end up calling home and adventuring out from there, it will be a place that I can work will be a place that accepts my Texas education 
and gives me their state license. But this is one of the most beautiful places that you could live, that you could base out of. My desire with van life was always to use it as a therapy for getting through the things that I need to get through and also to build a business, to build something where I didn't have to cut hair, where I didn't, I didn't have to have a barber shop. I have jumped around from state to state like I was playing hopscotch, picking up sticks. If some of you might get the reference to uh, years gone by. <laughs> oh boy, I'm in Coeur d'Alene and I have hesitated to release a video because of the actual, um, well, the actual stuckness so stuck and uh, just been through a lot of stuckness, a lot of, a lot of stress and a lot of uh, questioning myself. So I decided today just to do a simple video before I release the other things that I have because I want to let you guys know I've been thinking about you. I'm really stoked that I still have the subscribers that I do and that uh, it's dropped off a little bit but it's come back. I feel good that I haven't even started. Um, but I'm finding myself out here. Um, Coeur d'Alene is a place I spent a lot of years. And um, I always loved Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I always loved it here. It gave me the love for Idaho in general. And then that's why we ended up going to Boise at one point. And the only reason we chose Boise was because it had more population. It was seemingly a better place for weather. Um, the, the snow is not as terrible as Coeur d'Alene, but from what I'm hearing, it's really not that bad. It was a long trip. It was Texas to, uh, you know, I did the whole thing through New Mexico and Arizona. I didn't really stop in those places. When I got to my hometown of Salinas, Monterey, that is where I really hit a wall. It was emotions. I had no idea that I was gonna have. Um, just memories flooded back. I had to deal with all the stuff. That corner right there, that corner used to be Beacon. I remember we sat in line, we parked and we were in line down the street waiting to get gas back in the 70s. And Roy's, you can see it way down there, Roy's drive-in is that red sign. Just turns out that I was right to think that. I was right to think it, so there I was in my hometown, driving around to all the places I remember, spotting all the things. Reminiscing, went by places that I had been a thousand times as a kid. Went by my old house, my old trailer, old jobs. Saw things weren't there anymore, all the new stuff. And I felt depressed. I felt oppressed. I felt like there was a dark cloud over that city and that I had to get out of there as quick as possible. So I did, I got out of there. It just split to Monterey.
Y'all are the best. Hope I didn't go too long. Sort of a simple video to just check back in and let you know I'm okay. And I've made my rounds. I've been through several states and stopped for a period of time and here we are. I used to play basketball here with Mark. It's a cool little spot. This is Coeur d'Alene Park. It's, it goes all the way down there, man. There's a whole beach right there. I'll show you some pictures if you probably already saw some if you're in this uh, video watching. Anyway, y'all take care. God bless you. Be looking out. Any day I could be throwing my other uh, my other video up. One of the, my niece and my brother-in-law and the different things. So I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely hit the bell so you get the notification. That's a big deal. So, how do you like this picture? This is the SL2, the Canon. I've had it forever and I just need to learn how to use stuff. <laughs> I'm so busy. Catch you guys later.